This cabin has come so far from ripping off all of the walls, taking out all of the insulation, redoing the entire roof by removing the shingles, doing a new underlayment and new metal. This week, say goodbye to the framed walls and the subfloor. Or so we thought. Looks like we have bigger issues on our hands. Is that mushrooms growing under there? Yeah, that's rotten. We're about to see the outside inside. But first, we have made quite the mess doing this cabin. Organization is not our strong suit, clearly. There's not even that much to clean, it's just messy. Keep telling yourself that. What, you, it really isn't, we already organized the tools. That's organization to you? Oh, you're worse than me. This ain't even bad, this ain't worse. You're an optimistic person. Ta -da. Ta -da. So clean. So clean. Ready to be worked on. Although we are very, very far away from the vision in my head, this place is going to transform. And so we have very, very big dreams. These walls must come down and we are gonna do our very best to keep the studs in the best condition we can to reuse them for quite literally anything else. So Justin's doing already a very fantastic job of taking down the studs. Good job, babe. Yeah, we're gonna keep all of that. I would keep this part of the house open now. Put the room over there and the bathroom right there. Yeah. Keep this open. Holy. Yeah. This is nice. I don't know, we gotta come up with a good design. Any designers? Watch <laughs> us, help us. It's a square. <laughs> and most important part, the lake. The most amazing view is over there and right here, this L, and you just cover it with wood. And uh, this window. But you can't even see out of that window. You have to go on your tippy toes. No, it's toes. too tall. It's also <laughs> like the size of this roll. Anywho. We have the wire zippers here too if you wanna be a guy pushing. So we gotta get loud. You know we gotta get loud. Don't get electrocuted. <laughs> That L, that whole L. Right here, right here, right here. That's coming down. Why? It, it's, it's gonna, it wants to come down. I want it to come down. Let's hope these walls aren't structural. Just kidding, everyone. We do our research. I'm not trying to light the fuse, got things to do. You know we've been making moves. We put the fire at the work, cause we break the boom. Gotta show them who it is, gonna raise the roof, yeah. Yeah, we gonna make some noise, ain't no doubt about it. Come on, tell them, raise your voice, hear the trumpet sound it. If you feel what I feel, then you better shout it. Hands up to the ceiling, cause you know we gotta get loud. I just removed the bottom part of the framing here. You can see that the floor is rotten, and that's because the joists in this area are bad. Need replacing. You can actually see this one joist. There's just like right there. It's soft wood. It's the a good thing that we're taking that off. Yeah, you don't want to reuse this framing. It's, I don't even know if I want to mess with it. After seeing this, wood is like bread, isn't it? That wood's fine. Yeah. Spores. I don't know. I like clean wood, you know. You're not eating it. What's that? You want to take all the screws and nails out of here? My thanks. I never thought you'd ask. Have the bottom pieces to get? Ow, my leg! Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's rotten. Rough, eh? Rotten. Is that mushrooms growing under there? Probably. I got a little eager and started hacking the floor. Now we're gonna do the job right. We're gonna start with taking out the subfloor on this half of the house first because this is where all the joists are bad and we know that because you can go underneath this cabin and then we'll start moving our way that way. This is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, a nice clean, we don't know what they did here. Three fours. There we go, we know our depth. So. Say goodbye to your floor. Should I just start cutting? Don't fall through it. Bondo. 
Kind of scared of this. Margarine for our toast later. Nails. Nails. More nails, grab them. That's a cute jar. Margarine. We used to make things look so cute. Now our whole world is just like gray and white. Just kind of yeah, we'll just keep cutting joints by joints. <laughs> oh, it's gross under there. It's right here, it's stuck right here. Joyce. That's rough. We have to remember the joists of your house, other than the foundation, are what support like everything in here. Every rattle, every piece of furniture, all the lumber in here. And they're rotted. Whoa, I just came right off. Okay, yeah, as you can see, all of these ones look super bad. One, two, three, four, five. Then we go to the six joist right here, and it looks amazing. Isn't that strange? No, well, no. There's a water problem, and it's isolated. <laughs> I have never seen mold look like that. No words. To the next side we go, everyone. And yes, I apologize for not putting this on sooner. subfloor we went to YouTube University but I find that every subfloor is different based on how rotted the floor is Right here is a lot easier to remove than on the other side of the cabin where the joists are still in good condition. But what we found the easiest was to set our circ saw to three quarter inch because that's how thick the subfloor is. Run directly parallel along the joists and then as we come along, little sections and you can just pry it right off. Chunk them up. You what? You chunk them up. You chunk them up. All of those chunks mark halfway. Have you heard of liquid IV? Whether you're powering through a workout, hitting the trails, or just trying to stay hydrated during a busy day, liquid IV keeps you going strong. Ordinary water, extraordinary water. One sugar-free hydration multiplier hydrates you more effectively than water alone. Thank you to Liquid IV for sponsoring this video. We've all been there when you're drained, dehydrated, and in need of a boost. Well, this is your hydration superpower. It is loaded with electrolytes, three times that of the leading sports drinks, and loaded with B vitamins. We're talking B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. There's quite a few really delicious flavors you can try. It's so easy to take with you, throw it in your car, in your bag, for long flights, long travel days, shopping days, nights out. Don't let hydration slow you down. And if you click the link in our description, you get 20% off. Woo, it wants to rain. The world gets hydrated as we get hydrated. Should we tell them all of our findings now? We'll discuss why it's so bad. I think Fair what's enough. so funny about this cabin is there are so many little areas that we have been questioning and we've been trying to get to the bottom of it for so long now. And I feel like we went through phases where we were like, oh, that's from the roof, or this is from the windows, or it's yeah. coming through the siding, or it's coming through the floor from the condensation, or it was flooding, or, you know, there's a, there's a million different things it could be, and I think we finally may have an understanding of what it is. Do you know why? Why? Because we got to the bottom of it. <laughs> you get it? I sat in the bottom of my house. <laughs> I've been waiting to use that one. This place deserves to be mold free. Look at that view. We're gonna take you on an interactive tour and show you everything we've been trying to figure out. This side of the cabin is bad. This side of the cabin is good. Everyone remember this piece of wood right there that connects to the cement foundation. Look how dry the ground is right here. Pretty good, right? And look how sloping the land is right here. Now, remember that beam? I told you all to remember, everyone. I don't know if it's called beam. Let's shuffle to the right. It rained today. Look how wet 
this ground is. Also, there has never been gutters on this abandoned cabin. Sloping hill, water coming off the roof, landing right beside the cabin. It's basically the Bermuda Triangle. So with the combination of all of this, let's also not forget that cement is porous. So the water and the moisture can also get through this entire area. And to top it all off, there is next to no ventilation underneath the cabin. That is the airflow vent. So we think this is where all of our problems are come from. And believe me, we've gone over everything. And I feel very confident in this, that it is coming through the base of that cabin. Mm -hmm. So let us know your thoughts. I know a lot of you have so much experience and I'm sure some of you have even dealt with things like this before. So if you have any tips or any ideas for us with this cabin, we wanna show you as much as we can and give you as many angles as you can so you can help us because I know tons of you will have knowledge you're gonna wanna spill. The conclusion, because I'm writing an essay to all of you. This is what we think we need to do. I wrote on my hand because I'm gonna forget. <laughs> <laughs> and I give myself acronyms, so I'm probably even gonna forget what those are called. We need to tear apart the subfloor as we're doing now. Finish the second half. We then need to replace the joists. However, we don't want to replace the joists first. We want to keep those ones in there until we do some land management. And what we think we need to do is we need to dig around that foundation there, waterproof it, with blue skin or something. We need to add a French drain around the perimeter of the house. That way we can divert the water away from the house. Maybe a couple of gutters. And we should probably get some gutters. And that's our plan for right now. Because let's be real, it's inevitable. There's gonna be moisture that happens in our basement. It's gonna happen. So we need to protect. And then we can put new subfloor on and then we can start doing walls. Woo! That's crazy. We're getting all the materials today. There's no control in my system. Membrane, vapor barrier, adhesive, and dimple board. We're in the big city because we have a big project, which means we need big materials. Thankfully, today at our first stop, Joel helped me figure out exactly what I need. We had a very good idea, but it's always nice talking to the pros and the people who are dealing with these materials every day. Because as you all know, this is our very first time doing any sort of foundational waterproofing work. Should be fun. So we're gonna run around to all the big construction stores. Get out, get out, get out the way. Yeah, I'm burning it up. Can't Thanks for making such a good list. You're the best supervisor, right? Eh? Yeah, good girl. Can't cuz I'm living today. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out. Yeah, I'm burning it up. Can't take my place. Get out. I'm never giving it up. No, I can't stop cuz I'm living today. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. It's giving like IKEA but for scared me, Mom. Good. Good girl, Izzy, you did wonderful. Wonderful, you're so good at shopping. Yeah, yes you are, my girl. We're back at the cabin and today's a huge day. We have all the materials and everything needed to get started on digging out this foundation and hopefully making it completely waterproof from the exterior. So, time to start digging. We have no idea what the original home builders did to waterproof this cabin. So, today we may find nothing, something, a big mystery, who knows? <laughs> a lot of mysteries. <laughs> I'm so hot in here, it's like a greenhouse. Good thing you got AC, don't be complaining. I'm not gonna lie, just as I got the excavator started and I looked at the ground and I looked at the cabin, I did get a little nervous, so... 
I think we've said this before, it's our very first time doing any sort of work like this, close to a foundation, waterproofing. So, here we go. <laughs> Wake up. Got me looking my best, got my head in the clouds and my feet up the bed. Get up. No time to rest, gotta put in the work, bringing home the bread. Everybody smiles with the ray of light, got joy to the max when you do it right. We just found some French drain pipe that's coming out from the bottom of the inside of the crawl space, so it's about four feet down. So my guess is they do have some drainage running on the inside of it that would run out. However, I don't think they have anything running around the outside of the cabin. And clearly, I don't think there's anything on the foundation. From looking at it, I thought they had that like black gooey paint. And it still could be, but it's applied super thin. Very, very thin. But it also could just be because that the earth has been sitting against the cement for however many years. No, it's around the cabin. Yeah, there's no landscape fabric, so it's full of dirt and debris and it's not working anymore. And by landscape fabric, I mean geotextile. You can't use the landscape fabric from the hardware store. That's like an extra 300 bucks and now we have to do all this because they didn't want to buy geotextile fabric. Ooh, let's have a good time. Working on my balance and filling up the tractor. This is everything we're gonna need for this job. Rent that gun, five gallon buckets, paint brushes, brushes, tape, and so much more. Bleach and vinegar. Very stinky glue, very sticky paint for your membrane. Ram set bullets. And all the other hardware for the dimple board. Protective gear. Hard hat, because there's two of us. More bullets and concrete nails. Oh, hello! You coming to say hi to mom? Oh, the supervisor is keeping me in line. Bella's saying, hurry up, get this side done, ma. She doesn't know who I am. <laughs> who is that? Who's that new person? We have a new person on the job site. JJ. I was gonna call myself Sally, but. <laughs> Sally. I'll go with JJ. JJ is also here to keep you in line and measure your hole. Izzy's watching over you. We're digging a China over here. <laughs> I'm digging in Mexico, I don't know about you. That's a footer, eh? That's a footer. I've never seen a footer in real life, I only see photos. It's, your footer is what this sits on and it's a lot bigger and it has like rebar or ray bar, I still don't know what it's called all along it to make it extra secure. This is all rotted. Yeah, see, so this is what I'm worried about. I'm taking this off. Where that vent is, is that still in the crawl space? Yeah. That's the problem. This siding needs to come off. So we, have, we need to take this board off. Yeah. All right, JJ. <laughs> Thanks for your consultation. Go girls, let's go for a dip. Yeah, come on Izzy, come on Belle. Come on. Go swimming. Good Izzy. <gasps> Good girls. Come back. Wow, wonderful. I'm going in. Okay, for real though, I need to go in the trench with a shovel and start moving the soil. That way it's level, but also that way it's graded. So in the water, a certain way we want the water to divert. So over here is the highest point of the land and it slopes this way. So we're gonna want to have this drain be able to slope down. Because we all know water flows down, not up. Wanna make them watch, feeling all the love, make a mic drop. New game when you're at the top, go and tell your friends, party on the block. There's a little bit more shoveling on this side than there will be on the other side, simply because we have 
never done this before. As I was shoveling there and thinking, I realized that this job is a combination of a bunch of jobs and trades we have done over the years, all combined into one new job. It's like we're building on our knowledge, which is super cool and fun. However, this job is a lot more difficult and the foundation of your house is the most important thing. Other than a fire taking your home out, the foundation is something that can do that. So it's best to spend the extra money and the extra time doing the foundation so proper and maybe let's say not getting those countertops you want, you know? Put a little bit more towards this because without your foundation and you don't see it, it's a silent little killer and you won't have those countertops. Side two, three, and four will be a lot more smooth. Crystal is now chucking the dirt farther away. That way the machines are still able to get in there and put the gravel perfectly and we don't need to use the gorilla car. I just found pipe in the ground right here and I'm honestly trying to figure out if they didn't tie all their drains together. We're gonna find out as we dig. But it's just so mysterious because this is like directly near the cabin where you'd want it to come out. You could come out this way, as the land goes down, you could go out that way. And it's just weird that nothing is connected to it. That's a big rock that came out of there. Mm -hmm. Tree roots on tree roots. So they definitely use the black paint, but put it on very sparsely to my conclusion now, as I am chipping away at all the rocks kind of stuck to it. It's like a tarry like paint. It's pretty thick. We're going with a different product. There's a little view for you, as you can see. Anyways, you can imagine if we need to stick something to this, all this needs to be cleaned, prepped, and wash the heck down, let me tell you that much. Side one and two are dug out. Thank you, excavator operator. I just got out of the X for the first time in like two hours, maybe two and a half hours. And this, I didn't get to see this. This looks so good. I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty shocked that it looks like that today. And tangerine here is thirsty. So am I actually. Fueled up. Fueled up. As we all know, this cabin has four sides, and one of the sides has a rotten lean-to and a deck that is built very incorrectly. And in order to do a proper job of the foundation, it has to go. Ain't no deck if there ain't no house. <laughs> <laughs> How the sun works here is it goes all the way around, and this lean-to actually stops a lot of light from coming in, which is also not really our vibe. We like light mm -hmm. coming in. Maybe on another side if we build a deck, we'll do something like this, but not where the big, beautiful windows are. We have ideas. You'll see them as this whole cabin progresses. I got so into the show, I didn't hit record when Crystal lifted that six by six post out of the concrete with ease. The whole deck shifted up. Whoa! Oh, I wish I got that for you all. <laughs> Fingers crossed we don't break the front windows. We're doing it right and getting rid of this deck as well because now that I'm looking at it, the ground actually goes into the cabin, which means water runs right into it. Not good. I got it out though. <laughs> That's all I wanted. That was hurting my deck. You're doing great. Yeah, we really want to keep the deck because. Some of it's in good condition, it's easier to repair, but that lean-to is a moldy mess. That six by six post is completely rotted. 
with ease. Kubota Tangerine. The beam stayed intact too. It's all in the magic touch, what and can I say? I would uh, say it might be a little bit of tangerine there. Oh, tangerine, tangy. <laughs> the cabin just looks so much better without all of that ruckus in front of it. Like it just looks open and it looks bright in there and beautiful. Already. Yeah. Um, so dance floor over there or? <laughs> dance floor. <laughs> now we'll leave it here and then I'll just brush it off fix those two ducking boards and then we'll put our table on here and this is where we'll have lunch when we're working this is the temporary home obviously guys like it's gonna go somewhere oh, yeah. cool this right there is exactly why Simpson tie exists if they would have spent six dollars on six by six post brackets we wouldn't be here you're lifting sono tubes out of the ground girl <laughs> I crumbled! That is not four feet in the grass. Here's some facts. You cannot put lumber in concrete. It will deteriorate and rot, just as we see right here. They put like three feet of six by six lumber in a 12 or 10 foot sun on tube diameter, which means it only had like an inch to hang on to all the way down. That's why all these sun on tubes are crumbling. After seeing that, like, it's just a complete reminder of, like, why ripping it all up and doing it right, it's going to be worth it. When you see that type of work, and you, the more we get into it, I'm like, these little things that just, these little things that matter so, so much in the long run, you know? Yeah. This cabin is so much different than our cabin, eh? <laughs> for a battery powered pressure washer, eh? In bed. Isn't this the best example of it gets worse before it gets better? If you have a look around here, <laughs> it's more of a write off than it ever has been, but we are making progress. Today has been incredibly productive. I feel like we've made such big moves and everything is going so well. Knock on wood. The dance floor. <laughs> I'm very happy with today. It feels really good. I love these days so much. What's happening? We're on the last side. Did you go swimming all by yourself there? Wow! That might not be a big deal to all of you or any dog owner, but Bella doesn't do anything unless your moms are there. Normally I have to say, let's go swimming, and then she goes, but wow. You're so perfect.
taking a two minute arm break. I have definitely graduated from spagantini to linguini muscles this week. Check them out. That's so embarrassing why am I doing that? But no, I honestly feel so strong. I can't even get over just washing cement here. The last side that is being dug right now is almost done. We are at the crawl space entrance and we found the drain that comes out of the foundation. And now I'm gonna go inside the foundation when her bucket is out of the way. And I'm gonna go see if I can find it under there. You're such a big supervisor, eh? Big back boss is on site. This is the best job ever. <laughs> we all know what's next. Pressure washing, baby. Benching myself. Ick, exhausted, y'all. And I am, oh my god. <laughs> filthy animal, I am a filthy animal like you, Bella. I'm a filthy animal. <laughs> you stopped. What is wow, you've been in the trenches, girl. <laughs> 